Hey, what's up? The time has finally come. I'm gonna install a smart lock here on my front door. I've been waiting like a year for this to be available. It's been sold out forever. This is the Schlagen Code Plus. And I finally was able to buy one, so I'm super excited to try this thing out. Now, this is very easy to install, like all the smart locks are, but there are a few things you might run into, and I'll show you how to get past those. All right, the first thing I'm running into is that there's no paint underneath the lock, which is super annoying. The builder just painted around the previous lock. So I'm gonna have to take this off, clean it, sand it, and hopefully do a good job painting it. I'm not much of a painter, so let's see how it goes. All right, I think it's all dried, so it's time to install the lock. You only need a Phillips screwdriver. I'm using this one from Klein Tools. It's only about 20 bucks. I know Linus sells a screwdriver, a ratcheting one that's pretty cool. This one works great. And if you don't have one of these ratcheting screwdrivers, these are awesome, especially doing things around your house. They make it so much easier. Getting it straight is a little tricky. You have to make sure that this is straight as well as the back plate. And then this one is not straight. So if I don't straighten this one up, the back's gonna be all crooked. It's not gonna look good. Okay, I think we're good. All right, now that I got the lock installed, I had to fix one little thing. That's making the lock close super smooth. If you have a manual lock, it's really not that big of a deal. But these smart locks, they don't really like resistance. That kills the battery, it might not even work at all. So let me show you what I'm doing to fix it. So the lock does close, but it rubs right here on the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is get a metal file, which I have on one of these Leathermans, another tool I highly recommend. Scrape some of that metal off on the bottom. Hopefully that will be enough to make it close smoothly. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it fixes it. Yep. That's really smooth, so that's what you want. All right, now that I've been using the lock for a little bit, there's a few things that I like and don't like. The first thing that I like is how easy it was to set this thing up. There's a little button on the back, and if you have a newer iPhone, you can just tap the back of the lock with your phone, and it just sets everything up. You don't even need to scan anything. I mean, it's completely seamless. The other thing that I like is how quiet this lock is. You can barely hear it. We've used the older Schlage Connect before and that worked great, but you could definitely hear that throughout your whole house. Now, the thing I like the most about this lock is Apple's home key. And that's probably the reason you're gonna buy this lock and it works extremely well. You just hold up your phone to it, just tap it, and it works instantly. This thing is awesome. And if you're like, okay, that's cool. It works with your phone, but can it work with your watch? Yeah, it works with your watch too. So you can just pull up your Apple Watch. So awesome. And I love using my Apple Watch because when I go on a run, I might be all sweaty and my hands kind of shaky and I don't wanna use a fingerprint sensor or type in a code. It's so much easier just to use my Apple Watch. Some of the things I don't like about this lock is it's very difficult to see the numbers. You can see them a little bit better during the day, but they light up once you press a button and this can be annoying for guests because they don't see the numbers and they have to press one to light it up. And that counts as your first number for the code. So you're probably gonna get it wrong, type it in a couple times. And if you type it in too many times wrong, then it will lock you out temporarily. So it could be a little frustrating for, for guests, but for people using you know their phone or watch, it's really not gonna be that big of a deal. The other thing that's kind of annoying is the app. So. If you're using Apple's Home app, you have to use that and the Schlage Home app for doing the alarms and the auto lock in the Schlage app. But if you want to set codes, you can only do that in Apple's Home app. So it's a little confusing. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. And that's kind of how Matter devices are going to be. So they're going to have like the core functionality in like Apple's Home app or whatever. And then if you want extra functionality, you'll need to do that in the manufacturer's app. But overall, I think it's one of the best locks you can get right now, especially if you use an iPhone and Apple's home app. 
But I'm going to be testing out a few other locks like a Z-Wave fingerprint sensor one and a few others, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching!